I've never seen this before. Oh man, hurry and see it. Military transporting vehicles. Look at that. Holy cow. I knew it looked military like there's like a ramp where they could drive on and off. Trouble. That's so wild. I've never even seen something like that. Oh man, hopefully when I get launched in, I can get out there and, and maybe get close to them, but they're moving quick. They didn't even slow down coming through the no way. Oh, wait, here comes another one. But it's wild. It's like, you know, the military move around a lot of vehicles, but I never even knew they're moving stuff um, by water. I mean, it's pretty wild. Nobody's in fatigues, you know, obviously pulling these boats. But they are, they are military. That is so cool. We got some uh, Hummers on there. And two Humvees and a trailer. Oh, the guy is in fatigues. No way. That's pretty wicked. Man, if I was in just, just a little sooner. Just look at that, that's so crazy. Wow. Me, I tell you, that's what's so cool out here is you never know what you're gonna see on the waterway. Hey, the, we got the military out here, so. And look at the waves for this thing coming through. It's supposed to be a no wake zone. It's like, man, I'm glad I didn't launch already. Holy cow. We'll see if we can catch up to them. They're by the time, I'm, gonna, I'm probably, they're moving so quick. Hey, what's going on guys? It's I am Baywolf back at it with another video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. To my existing subscribers that are already subscribed, you had to hit this bell notification even after you subscribe. For some reason, when I've seen even people I've subscribed to that you don't see the videos unless you hit the bell notification. So make sure you smash that too. Also too, if you haven't uh, followed me yet on Instagram, it's I am underscore Baywolf. I have a link in the description too to my uh, Instagram. But man, it's nice to be out in the river. Or we call it the intercoastal waterway. And uh, definitely, so I'm gonna probably cruise a little down there and then cruise down that way. And then tonight, uh, I don't know if any of my viewers have seen uh, the new Avengers Endgame movie. I saw it on uh, Thursday of last week, the opening night, and then I bought tickets to go see it. Tonight, so I'm gonna go see it again. If you haven't seen that movie and you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you go see it. To anybody who's seen it, let's not give any spoilers in the comments, just in case somebody hasn't seen it. We don't ruin it for anybody. But it's an awesome movie. And uh, I'm a big Marvel fan. And a lot of people might not know, it's back when I professionally raced cars, my helmet was painted like Spider-Man. And that would've been like back, like old school Spider-Man movie, uh, Tobey Maguire. The neat little story with that as I was sponsored by Marvel with racing and they had the okay to have the whole paint scheme of the helmet uh, like Spider-Man. So in the racing world when I raced cars we thought oh, Spider-Man was cool and uh, I like Spider-Man but you know I, I don't know about all those like because I had like four custom helmets painted and it cost so much money to paint a helmet. It's like it's like you're painting a car almost, you know, it's like just crazy. So I don't know, maybe sometimes I'll do like some custom Beowulf helmet. The problem is it gets kind of beat up, you know, when you're going at these boat ramps and you're trying, you know, you gotta take it off or set down. It's, it's not worth to have some like crazy paint job, but maybe in the future I'll look at doing that. But anyways, enough talking. Let's get rolling. Time to go move back.
around if you see up ahead there's people like rental jet skis those are the kind of people you want to avoid being around because they 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 don't know what they're doing i don't want to get hit but that that had to be like a fun job and you get paid to go take people out on jet skis but i also too it'd be like how far could you travel if people don't have tons of experience like they're hardly moving but that's an awake zone so i don't think i want to go down there i want to head down this way and, and possibly uh i got my my drone with and a funny story it's the last time when you saw the rx cx here i'll admit it i had nothing to hide i had a dji mavic pro and when i had it finally and i've never used the tracking thing so i had it panned where like it would go sideways panning around me you know like filming me sideways i think and because there's no uh camera camera on the back um there was like an evergreen in the water that was not where the trees where i figured it had tons of room and that's the thing that kind of sucks is uh it hit it it fell in the water and the hard thing is when you're riding and using a controller and stuff it just like you figure that this thing had all this like avoidance thing but obviously not in the back yeah i mean i screwed up so i bought a dji mavic air which i have to say it's a nice drone the hard thing is you just can't have a big drone to launch so i'm going to try launching it back, back of the platform back there and uh see see what it looks like this looks like it's just a bunch of girls on this look at that he's like yelling at him they like slow it down <laughs> you're already dangerous you're not moving oh man it's too funny watching people are not experienced riding a jet ski they don't know what they're doing we'll, we'll give a fast fast go by <laughs> I love watching people that don't know what they're doing. It's just hilarious. They're barely even moving. I'm probably going like as fast as them that I'm at idle. <laughs> oh, let's go down this way. This is gonna be it. This is gonna make a video interesting. Like where i think it hit what the gps shows it hit like the upper part you can see it's like sticks out a, a lot farther and it it has to be down right down in there but that was a week ago and i think it's over a week ago no it happened it happened on wednesday yeah no today's tuesday so yeah it happened like a week ago the chances that it's anywhere around here is pretty slim um the current's really strong here so i mean it could be god knows when 
not around here. Here comes more jet skis. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I lost the drone. So if anybody's here, you kind of get the idea of what it looks like. If you find a drone here, please let me have it. All I want is the SD card because I got some pretty cool footage and it happened like like an uh, 30 minutes before dark. So like I like checked the shore. The hard thing is I didn't get any of the footage on my phone. Um, for whatever reason, I, I'm having problems where it rec records it onto the, like you see it on your phone, but then save on the phones. And then plus it was recording while it crashed. So all I remember seeing is I was like somewhere around here and then I saw it hit a evergreen which is just kind of it's like an evergreen style tree it has pine needles and uh it hit there and i'm in the water crazy houses around here all right so goal is not crash the drone i flew it once in a past video and uh it was all right it's kind of i was filming like right before dusk and uh that's why i figured like this is i kind of cruised to figure out a good spot because like it's kind of angled back there and it probably worked taking off and landing but it, you know how much more easier it'd be like landing on somebody's dock so that's probably like the smartest idea. And this is a pretty good wide open area. 
kind of right where I crashed. And that's why I picked this area. It's nice. This time, I'm not going to have a can of can side to side around me. I'll let some of these people go by so I can uh, film it. Because the one thing with that DJI Mavic Air is you don't have a lot of air time. I think that's like 16 minutes or whatever. That's what I've seen last time I flew it. It wasn't a lot of time. So, uh, everybody's finally catching up. Uh, but yeah, let's get this drone all together, get some footage, play around this follow track thing. I wish it was like, I obviously know the drone can't fly that fast. I just, it seems to lose connection with the glare of the waves and whatnot is what I noticed. So we'll try to play around with it here and, and see how it works. It's not too windy either. That's a hard thing with a smaller drone. The guy was coming straight at me. Like he went head on, he was like head on at me and waved. I was like, whoa, man, don't hit me. Yeah, it doesn't seem too windy. The hard thing is you can't fly way down that way. Uh, Cause we're really close to the Myrtle Beach Airport, which is no fly zones. So we're pretty much in a safe area where it won't have an issue flying. And it's, the good thing is it's kind of open here. So you can't go kind of farther down. You got the telephone wires. The good thing though, is the Mavic Air has a camera from behind. Cause the original I was looking at the Spark, DJI Spark. I thought like, oh, that'd be so easy landing and off my hand, and, you know, like, and then I knew it's just such a tiny drone, drone like that. It looks like a little dinky toy and it. You know, I didn't need somebody to tell me that that wouldn't probably work for what I'm doing. You know, probably like indoors and stuff would be good. But I've seen video where Beal kind of did it. But the hard thing when you're in the water, it makes it harder. That's why I want to get a waterproof drone. You just land it in the water, take off, makes it really easy. So it's on the list. Put it on the list. For the record, for the record, for the record, for the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got to up price to y'all. Snake eyes on dice to y'all. Shoulders on ice to y'all. A6 all the hay. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball and A's. I'm flipping the bars. I'm flipping the, flipping the, flipping the. All record, all record. I still count wins when they got it. All record, all record. I let them take advantage. I was wildin'. All record, all record deals. Tell them talk to Colin for the quote. All record, all record. I still want to act, not the ghost. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't tryna grow any stone for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't tryna make no time to waste. Running through it with the young influence, adolescent presence, I'm succumbing to it. I've been giving yeses when I shouldn't do it. I complete ejector, but the moves are elusive and I'm barely moving. But I'm still gon' boost them. I can't work on winners when I know you're losing. So I rip the winners and they throw the deuces. Guess I have to pivot, shooting no bazookas for the facts. I need racks, paper right, right, cash, right. fuck attacks. That's a joke. Tell them that Uncle Sam, fuck out the bag. Brody Platt, forget a whack. Contract, give me the max. I got lab on my back. You ain't that, then it's straps. Whoa, whoa, whoa. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't tryna grow any stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't tryna make no time to waste. Facts, I need racks, pay the cash, fuck a tax, that's a joke. Tell him lab, Uncle Sam, fuck out the bag. Brody plot, forget a whack. Contract, give me the max. I got lab on my back. You ain't that, then it's straps. Whoa, whoa, whoa. For the record, I'm done tryna make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't tryna grow any stuff for you. For the record, live on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link, no time to waste. So good news, did crash the drone. It's a little complicated because the, the hard thing is when you're trying to land it and you're moving with the currents pretty strong here, it's like, it's a lot of stuff to be thinking. It's, it's the hardest thing is like that active track, it really, what happens when it sprays up the waves, it screws it off. So like, I start going and start, even if I do anything where waves splash up, it totally loses the signal to the active track, which is totally sucks. Um, you figure that, you know, it should work with boats. I've seen videos. I think the hard thing is when, like the jet ski is so smaller than a boat, uh, it's harder for it to active, active track. So, yeah. I wonder where those people are. How do they reach that to hit there? 
they must be hitting it holy cow i never even thought of this this is probably like a dangerous place to ride it people hit the ball wrong you get hit in the head with a golf golf ball because they're hitting from that way down so they hit far far left it's right in the water but uh yeah it's still fun and i uh, hope you guys enjoy that footage with that i i i used to have like the big inspire one with like a flare infrared camera I used to actually be a dealer for DJI back in like 2016, 2017. Yeah, I think it was around those. We were selling like the Inspire one with the FLIR to like fire departments, police departments and stuff. And I had this drone by Inspire one with the FLIR. I think the whole drone retailed for like 17, 18 thousand dollars. And like it, you could operate two people once operating that thing and like we did a lot of film work for like TV commercials with it too. My uh, brother would help me out with that. And uh, yeah, so it's crazy. It's like that drone was so expensive, but it was so big and it was easy to fly. That's what's kind of crazy to see how small they've gotten. But like, it'd be awesome if you could launch them here. Cause when I used it in the last video, when I was riding the RSTX, the platform's all flat without having the back seat. So there was like, you could launch and probably land it by my fuel jug in the back and I, the hard thing is like a little wind picked up out of nowhere and that's the thing i'm a little fearful with the little drones it's just like how much can they take um but it's nicer than a mavic pro i'd have to say because it, it, you have it not as so big um but it's harder to see when they land because it's it's mine's white so i'm gonna get some skin to uh, wrap it with so i can just pick it out it, it kind of just blends in the sky being white um yeah so Kinda head back this way, so let's tear it up on the way back to the boat ramp. so cool there's some like crazy houses i mean like these are kind of like the mansion style houses of uh north myrtle beach i consider or myrtle beach it's gold it'd be cool to have a house like this right on the water man i just like wake up and jump right on the jet ski that'd be awesome but the crazy thing is like some of these like when the hurricane came we raised the water up high even higher than these docks but like, you imagine how high you'd be? We got a cool goals one day, one day.
shirts yet, check it out. I have a link up top, a link down the bottom. IamBayWolf.com. Got the shirts, tank tops, hats, and sweatshirts. It's like the end of the video. I got to hurry home, change, shower, clean these up, and go in an Avengers movie. Check out that boat. That's pretty cool. I've never seen one like that. That's a little one. Uh, so, yeah. Awesome taking this beast out. I'm going to take it back out uh, tomorrow. It's the plan in the ocean. The only thing is this boat launch, you kind of bang up on the sides there. You gotta be a little careful. Um, but if you're new to the channel, smash that subscri subscribe button. If you're already an existing subscriber, make sure you hit the bell notification. And it's the end of the video. Like you heard me said before, you know, if you see any trash, like when you're out like this, pick it up, throw in the garbage. Doesn't matter where you're at. Also to be driven to win, put yourself have goals and make sure you come with through with it. It's the end of the video. I'll see you guys back in the next one. Peace out.